mount is any kind of intervention to keep an object in place. You don't want things to fall over, you don't want things to move. Most of the time, they're not seen. A lot of objects look like they're just sitting there, but they're usually secured in some way. So what are you thinking of here? Yeah, so I've been going back and forth about flipping them and also how deep we want to engage. This it always portion. starts with curatorial and exhibition design. And they're deciding the basic overall look and design of the show. Once they get to the point of the technical stuff, we're, okay, now we need to make this happen. That's when it kind of gets to the different conservators, our fabrication department, and me. So it's a big team effort. It's a big spiral. You know, the ramps are at a slope of average about three degrees. The walls, they're curved, but they also tip away from you anywhere from 15 to 17 degrees. So the arc changes up the walls. There's no two angles that are the same. This top of this represents the footprint of the bottom of that block, and then this continues down. We want something to be able to like put there and test and test the angle and the fit. Things will be unique to an exhibition. Like in the Giacometti, there's all these different platforms with pedestals, low platforms of various thicknesses. I enjoy the challenge of figuring this stuff out. We use primarily brass and different epoxies to make form shims and stabilizing. The idea is that the mount needs to be like a non-issue. When you're just viewing the art, it shouldn't be a distraction. Every object you're dealing with has its own unique things. Some of the works, we had to make internal brackets so that it can all be hidden inside. That allows us to, to actually bolt it down and secure it without seeing anything on the outside. It kind of curls in. There's like a lip right at the bottom. So in this case, this piece, it's removable, obviously. So you're looking down on it. It has connecting into four points. And it's pressure fit in there. When you're standing on the ramp, you're not standing plump. Your body is naturally averaging out, so you have to install by eye. So everything needs to be adjustable. It, to get the finish look, you don't use a level, you use your eye. And there's not a magic number. You go until it looks right. One of the big ones was Patalan. We worked with it for five months off-site before install, hanging the entire exhibition from the skylight. Everything was an object. Aztec, it was a beautiful exhibition. The walls and the cases were all lined with felt. Nothing was actually sitting on anything, so every object was held out from the back wall on a mount. On Chamberlain, you had these like big, heavy, crunchy works that we had to prop up and support. Every show was a little different. I knew a lot about Giacometti, and it's one of my kind of old time, early, quote unquote, favorites, you know, that I can think back, even all the way back into high school in the 80s. I, I haven't been able to walk through as purely a viewer. That's also kind of one of the drawbacks of what I do. And I'm still going through and seeing the mounts. I'm seeing the, the installation process. But to be able to go through and just enjoy the artwork, what it is, because you know, I really like his work. So I want to be able to get to that point. <laughs>